What's good y'all? It's your boy, it's of Mike, and I'm back with another banger. What's good my boy? No <laughs> cap. <clears throat> Sorry, let me try that again. <clears throat> Welcome back to the channel people. This is the Aries AR058E aka the L85A3. And the great thing about this, not only is it based on the more recent version, it comes in this beautiful case. Oh my gosh. And just in case you're thinking, yeah, that's just on this side. That looks nice. The other side's probably blank. Um, nope. <laughs> Take a look at this. Nicely secured by these metal fixtures and a little hole for a padlock. Right, let's do this. Oh, the excitement is real. It's real. Are we ready? Now come on, I don't care what you have to say about the L85s, this is handsome. You've got to admit, come on, look at this, come on. Okay, let's have a look and see what we've got in this case of loveliness. We have the Aries card that has the QR code for your manual and brief information on the rear. We also have a sling point. I'll show you that in a moment. Two 130 round mid cap mags. And if you look carefully, hiding away under the foam should be a cleaning and unjamming rod. Oh, and a speed loader. Do you know what? That is handsome. That really is handsome. Doesn't matter what your personal feelings are about the L85 series. What a handsome package. And this sling point right here, metal, swivel, and can slot on there very easily. And I love the fact that it's metal and I'm loving the color scheme. Right, let's do this. The first thing I'm gonna say, which isn't exactly a 100% positive thing, but oh my gosh, getting a battery to fit in there, it was difficult, but I've got one. Now, if you're thinking the battery pack goes in there, nope, <laughs> it goes in there. But we'll get back to that in a moment. So kicking off, we have this rear, very grippy butt pad. You've got your rear sling point, and this is where things get a little bit different for this particular AEG version. This right here, not only does it hold this mock bolt back, which by the way goes backwards and forwards when you're using it, <laughs> hey, um, not only does it hold it open or hold it back, it also releases it. And that's pretty much an airsoft thing. Now, loving the markings. And here you have more markings, this one relating to Aries themselves. Oh, and by the way, steel and right here, a very cool looking, fully adjustable rear sight. And right here, you've got a very generous top rail. And from what I can see, it's not continuous. There is a join right here, but it's done pretty well. Okay, so moving along, you have your safety. Let me show you that at a different angle. <laughs> Look, there's my wall of goodies there. Anyway, I just wanted to show you the zooming capabilities of this bad boy. Right there is your safety button. And right now it's on safe because you can see the S. Below that safety button, you've got your trigger, trigger guard. The trigger is electronic, so that should be interesting. Why I hear you ask? Well, if you've got the Aries programmer, you can program this bad boy. Moving along, you've got your key mod. I'm loving this color scheme right here. I mean, this is powder coated, so the finish on this is absolutely sublime. I mean, absolutely sublime. Loving the attention to detail there too. And then of course, at the top here, 
you have your front sight. And if you look at the sights like this, you can appreciate how small that peephole is. Now, taking a look at this side, you have the other side of your rear sling point. You also have your selector switch, your mag release, which is nice and chunky and yeah, nice and firm. Oh, and by the way, what I love about this sight is that you can easily detach it by just pushing that back and off it comes. And here's the other side of your safety button or switch. <laughs> and you have a 14 millimeter threaded outer barrel. And just in case you're wondering, it is hop-up adjustable. Right there. Now I'm not gonna lie, I struggled, like I mentioned earlier, I struggled to get a battery pack to fit into this. I'm only joking, this would never fit in there and it's not for that. But in terms of all of these, I couldn't find my little adapter to convert that um, Deans to a Tamiya. So that was out of the question. And this, a bit too wide. Uh, this too, a bit too wide and fat. That was perfect. Believe it or not, this is an 11.1, .1, but again, it's a Deans. And again, I couldn't find that adapter and I couldn't be asked to rewire the plug. So I'm um, left with these way too big, way too big. Luckily, I had that bad boy. Now it's not an 11.1, .1, it's a 7.4, so we'll see how we get on with this. But uh, yeah, this fits perfectly. And it's got a Tamiya plug. Okay, so let's just get this battery cover off. Have a look down there. There's your Tamiya. And that's the sort of room we're dealing with. Now, to be fair, there is room going further up into the unit itself. So you're not just restricted to the grip. However, it's still restricted overall. But as I said, luckily I've got this bad boy which fits in there, but even this struggles <laughs> as you begin to push it down because of the Bruh. width. You know what? Scrap that. Even this is too big. Let's try that. Like a glove. Right, there's nothing in here, no mag. Let's just make sure this works. Ooh. Very nice. <laughs> Very clacky clacky. Right, loving the look of that. Let's get it ready, 130 BBs. Now, as I showed you earlier, it does come with its own speed loader, but I'm just going to use mine. Okay, let's do a chrono test and an accuracy test. As always, it gets two chances to land in the red dots and then whatever's left in the mag. <laughs> right, got my eye protection on. Let's see what we've got here. Looking for around the 330 mark. Oh, oh, even better. <laughs> Tasty. Let's go full auto. Oh my gosh, oh, that is decent. Look at that, very tight considering there was only two attempts per dot and one landed home. Same sort of thing right there, but then look at that almost dead on center and then down the bottom. Not quite, but still very tight and flanked. Nice. This is the one baby. Oh, hold on. I've got my eye pro on, by the way. So 
So, as always, people, brand new out of the box. In this case, you get a beautiful case, <laughs> pun intended, with this bad boy right here. What are my initial thoughts? Now, keep it in mind, my channel is an Airsoft unboxing channel, just showing you what you get brand new out of the box, okay? Period. All right, so, what do I love about this? I love that it looks awesome. I love that it's the A3. I love that the sights that it comes with are very nice and low profile, so you can put your own optics over it without having to remove them. Loving the blowback. My only criticism there is that when the last BB has gone, it doesn't lock back. But hey, it's an AEG, not a gas blowback. <laughs> and although I haven't got one of those programmers with me, I'm loving the fact that you can program this bad boy. And most of all, even though many of you like to mock it, but this is the A3, okay? Oh, no gloves. Um, many of you like to mock it. This is the A3 version, okay? So it's the best yet. <laughs> A huge thank you to the people that sent this out to me. You saw their name at the beginning of the video. You've got to check with your own local uh, retailers. Um, this is a considered purchase, okay? It's not cheap, but from what I've seen so far, it's worth every penny. Oh, and don't get me started on the accuracy. That was pretty decent. Oh, and if I had to pick up on just one more thing that I didn't like, is the battery compartment situation. Oh my gosh. It's just as well that I have a huge collection of batteries. Man, that battery compartment's small. But I guess that's pretty much the only place I think it can go. Because, for example, if you were to put it at the front, sort of within that key mod situation, um, you'd see wires and that wouldn't look good. Other than that, this comes a close second to the gas blowback one. Oh, my final verdict, nice.